Welcome to the Fitness Oracle Daily Show. I am your host, John Katsavos, and today it's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Uh, today we're going to be talking um, about the saying that you need to get a good sweat on to beat the flu and why this and why I have such a big problem with this. Um, if you guys have listened to the previous episodes throughout the week, you know what's happened to me when I when I took this saying and implemented it. It could potentially put you in a position where you don't want to be. Be out of work for a week. Be out of, out of commission for a week or two. Nobody wants to be there. And this is why I have such a big problem with this, with this saying. Yes, you need to get a good sweat on. We'll get into that a little bit later. But when you are sick, I'm going to regurgitate everything that I said throughout this week. I'm going to regurgitate it once more because it's critically important that you guys get it. When you are sick, stay home and get better. If you have the flu, do not leave your house. Stay at home and get better. Many reasons for this, which we covered so many times throughout this week. One of them, lack of energy. One of them, lack. another one is lack of strength. Another one is you might get other people sick. Another one is... You are going to go through hell with when that virus takes really over. And I'm not talking about what we were going through over the last two and a half years. I'm talking about just a regular common cold or the flu, which we are not talking about for some reason. Any, anyways, anyways, I'm not going into that. Moving on. I want to talk about the timing of this saying to get a good sweat on to beat the flu. When it comes to this saying, timing is everything. Remember on Wednesday when I talked about, um, you know, you get that little bit of a feeling that something's not right with you. You know, you're 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 in the you're in the gym. You're working out. Second exercise. You just you, you you just don't feel it. You don't feel that clarity. You don't feel that strength. You don't feel that thing. You just feel weird. You just just feel off. What you can try to do at that point is go and just a light walk. Get into a light sweat. I know. I said. I know. On Wednesday, I said just leave the gym. But before you leave the gym, just go for a light walk. Do not get into a jog. Do not stress the body too much. Go up on the treadmill. Go for a 10, 15-minute walk that will, with a little bit of a pace, not like a ni nice little stroll through the, through the fields on a sunny day. I'm talking about a little bit of a, you know, instead of if you're walking at about two and a half miles an hour, go to three. Go to three and a half. You want to prevent that little bit of a jog. You don't want to get there. Just not. That will help. That will help fight off whatever bug that you might be fighting. The final point that I actually want to talk about is why you should stay home. The importance of staying home. The importance of staying home is for many reasons. One, you don't get other people sick. That's a big one. Like nobody wants to get sick. And, you know, if you're sick, you don't want to get other people sick either, right? No matter whether it's a, a cold, a flu, the vid, whatever. Like you don't want other people to catch it. So stay home and get better. The other point is staying home will help you stay less active and will allow your body to repair itself via the immune system which also includes a circulatory system. And you have less things to do at home, which lets you rest, which is the big part of everything that when you do have the cold or the flu. And yes, doctors are right. You do need to 
have a lot of fluids while you're sick to help replenish replenish your the fluids that you're that you're losing usually you need to drink about three liters of this every single day i would add a i would say keep that plus add a couple like orange juice like which is rich in vitamin c apple juice which is also rich in vitamin c lots of chicken soup there's a little bit of a trick that i didn't go through and i'll, and I'll tell you guys this trick um right now uh i was taught it was taught to me by a chinese medicine doctor uh would most doctors won't won't will be like oh yeah that's yeah, hocus pocus but actually really works what you do is uh before before you make your soup you make a tea it's uh ginger and cloves you take the ginger and the cloves you put them in a pot and you put them in a pot and um as it's starting to boil what you do is you take a towel you put it around your head and you put it you put your head over the pot but not too close where you're going to burn your face from the steam <laughs> We don't want that. We don't do not do that. Just high enough so that you can inhale this, the 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 vapors from the from the ginger and the uh, and the cloves. That will help clear out the, the 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 sinuses. And then you just drink the tea after. Again, make sure you're not dripping the sinus stuff out into the tea because you want to drink it, right? You don't. Want that's disgusting. That's so gross. I wouldn't know. Have like something so that you can like a pot or something that you can uh, drip the sinus stuff out, the mucus out, or a cup or something. Like I don't know. I, I I've done it a couple of times. It's a little bit awkward at first, but um, it does really work very well to help you get better, and especially the ginger. The ginger and clove tea after it's it's um brings up your body temperature and helps you sweat and the sweat actually helps you um remove the toxins. It's very it's very 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 useful. Then make a soup and just enjoy your chicken chicken noodle soup or chicken chicken and rice soup. So um that's it, guys. That that uh, this is going to be a short and sweet episode. Um. I, I really don't like that saying, get a good sweat on to beat the flu. Yes, to use it as a preventative measures. Yes, I totally and utterly agree with that statement. But when you're sick, do not do not go to the gym. Stay home. Like I said before, get better. If you're going to get a sweat on, make sure you're sweating in the proper way while you're resting. Like the soup idea, the, the tea idea. Or bundle up and make yourself warmer. Take a hot shower. That way of getting a sweat on. Yeah, I totally agree with it. Or put compresses on. Compresses are lifesavers for me. I love my compresses. With rubbing alcohol on your chest and one on your back. And what I do is uh, I take um, rubbing alcohol, put it on a scarf, wrap it around my neck while I sleep. You want to sweat? Oh, you'll sweat. You'll sleep in your sweat. You'll wake up in a puddle of your own sweat. You'll be like, damn, damn. That is a staple for me for when I get sick. I, that must happen. Basically, what I'm trying to say is if you're going to get a good sweat on, do it smart. And stay out of the gym. Stay home. Nobody else wants to get, nobody else wants to get, get a virus. Cold or flu. Tomorrow, tomorrow we are wrapping up the week. We're gonna go into my biggest takeaways, and um, should be interesting. I hope I I know a lot of you guys out there and, and girls. There, you know, I know a lot of women out there that are listening in. Uh, you guys are, you know, picked up some really great stuff, and I'd love to hear uh, what your biggest takeaway was. So, if you haven't done so already, just sign up for your free uh, free account at Pod Inbox. And uh, share it with us. And I'd, I'd love to, you know, get you guys more involved in, into these episodes because it's it's about you, it's not about me. It's about you. Uh, so I don't know. And I want to thank you guys all for watching this episode. I really hope that you enjoyed it. 
if you are watching this on Rumble and YouTube, as always, please hit the subscribe button. Um, hit that bell to notify you when we're coming up with a new episode and share this with somebody that you know might help. If you are listening to this on iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Breaker, iHeartRadio, or whatever streaming service that you use, please give us a five-star rating and a positive review as it will help us reach out to more people that are suffering from mental health issues. Before you go, I'd like to re-invite you to keep this conversation going by signing up to your free account at Pod Inbox. Over the years, we've discovered that in order for us to achieve the greatness that we're destined for, we can't do this alone. So in order for you to find your place back in this world, we've come across this amazing tool called Pod Inbox, where we can get together and discuss this topic even deeper. All you have to do is click on the link in the show notes and sign up for your free account and find out for yourself how powerful community really is. Until tomorrow, you guys have an awesome, awesome, awesome day.